Boomer, what did you make of the 60-minute sports interview with Troy Vincent yesterday, specifically him uh, admitting that it was the GM of the Colts who ended up bringing to the NFL's attention during the uh, second quarter of the Colts game uh, that the balls that he felt were deflated? Yeah, I think we all knew that. Now, here's the thing that I think about all of this, guys. Uh, After the game between the Patriots and the Ravens, uh, there was a lot of talk about formations and ineligible and eligible receivers. And if you remember, they hit Hominawa Nui wide open, and the Ravens' defense was uh, confused, and John Harbaugh was going crazy. Well, after the game, they asked Tom Brady about it, and Tom Brady said, well, it's in the rule book. Read the rule book. Look at the rule book. And I'm telling you, that's a shot across the bow of John Harbaugh, who was, I, I guarantee you, was very, very upset with Tom Brady's take on that whole thing. Now, if you notice, John Harbaugh never went after Bill Belichick. He never said anything negative about him as a coach at all for the pr- previous two weeks leading up to the uh, the Super Bowl. The next week, who are the Patriots playing? They're playing the Indianapolis Colts. Who is their coach? Their coach is uh, Chuck Pagano. Where was Chuck Pagano before he was the Indianapolis head coach? He was the defensive coordinator for said Ravens and under John Harbaugh. They're all close. They're all tight. Grigson, I believe, came from Baltimore, so they all know each other. And as soon as as Tom Brady said, read the rule book. Now, all of a sudden, John Harbaugh, Grigson, and Pagano, and that trio of guys who are all friends, and this is what I believe happened because this is how the NFL works, wanted to embarrass one Tom Brady, and they wanted to put him on the, the spit, if you will, and they wanted to make him have to answer questions about said rule book. So I, what you could say whatever you want about the flake gate, who did what, who did this, who did that. To me, this is how the NFL operates. It's backstabbing. It's insecure. It's childish. You want to call me out? Guess what? I'm going to call you out. You want to embarrass me? Guess what? I'm going to embarrass you. And that's, in my estimation, that's all this was. And I've said this now for two weeks on different radio stations all across the country. Uh, you're going to get a a lot of people denying it, and I'm just telling you, this is the way the NFL works. So they may have uh, embarrassed Tom Brady for two weeks. At the end of the day, Tom Brady's the la- the one that's got the last laugh. He's got his third Super Bowl victory. He, uh, I mean, MVP. He's got his fourth Super Bowl victory. And at the uh, you know, and really, when you think about it, you're talking about the greatest quarterback and the greatest coach combination in NFL history. And if you want to throw Robert Kraft in there as the owner, because you know he obviously took to the microphone when he landed in Arizona. I would say... Oh, coach, owner, and quarterback, the three greatest, and this is the greatest run in NFL history by anybody. 